This is Bhavna Sharma from Class 8. I would like to put forward my opinion on how virtual classroom and assessment have affected adversely. Everything has its pros and cons. There are some major drawbacks of digital assessments and these problems often get pushed aside in online discussions. After all, who would like to put the brakes on educational innovation? Let's have a closer look at these problems. In a developing country like India, Technical constraints like suitability of devices and bandwidth availability causes a serious challenge. Moreover, online student feedback is limited to virtual classroom. Longer use of virtual platform in continuity can cause social isolation and deterioration of socio-emotional skills. Virtual classroom requires strong self-motivation and time management skills. Although the tools being used for virtual assessment in our classrooms are a synchronized way of assessing certain skills, but for the assessment of detailed content knowledge during summative assessment, students may face connectivity issues at the time of uploading answer sheets. Also, prevention of usage of incorrect means by students during online assessment is complicated. Data analysis of a study conducted on 358 students from different sections of society showed that 52% of the learners considered virtual assessment to be ineffective and restricted to certain disciplines. One of the most difficult tasks is trying to get accurate assessment of students with special need during remote learning as various home factors aren't in teachers control. It makes difficult to track the growth and development of such children. Online instructors tend to focus on theory rather than practicals. An online survey done in Bihar and Maharashtra revealed that students face a lot of issue in building of concepts without any direct exposure to practicals. Finding a solution to the complex problem of raising computer literacy is no easy task. Additionally, face-to-face -face communication with professors can be substituted with online communication and peer-to-peer -peer activities for assessment should be promoted among students through online mode, similarly as it would be in traditional classrooms. Warm greetings to one and all. I am Krishna Chavan from class 6. Today, I want to put forward my views on the topic virtual assessment. As per UNESCO website, still more than 31 million learners in 39 countries are affected by abrupt closure of schools. However, the panic plays the promise of educational technology in the spotlight. Remote learning and virtual assessment have become a new normal. Various studies revealed that digital platforms have provided better utilization of available resources for assessment. Students progress can be tracked easily with analysis using varied formats of assessment that keep students engaged in a constructive manner and help teachers gain a critical understanding of their learning styles. According to Google, an online survey done among 200 Indian students from different locations show their overall perception towards virtual assessment as highly flexible and easy to use. Incorporation of multimedia in examination has increased students' engagement and development of critical and higher order thinking skills. Immediate feedback helps students to analyze their performance level and take better steps to optimize their results. The self-assessment tools have helped in inculcating the values of honesty and trust towards themselves. Hence, building high self-esteem. Well said by Mr. Biswajit Saha, Director, Training and Skill Development, CBSE. At a time when homeschooling and online education has become relevant, the traditional method of assessment will become redundant. The new assessment pattern laid by CBSE is in line with National Education Policy 2020, which advocates the need to move from road to competency-based learning. The focus now is more on assessment for learning 
rather than assessment of learning. Undoubtedly, virtual assessment is the true reality of future education process.